All right. And then lastly, uh, I think it's the, the buzz in here on the Navajo Nation that our uh, the First Lady of the United States of America is coming to the Navajo Nation. Uh, and, uh, you know, again, we got some very strict protocols on our end and also on the end of the White House. So, you know, we're, these, these meetings are not going to be uh, public physically. You know, you can't come to Window Rock and, you know, you'll be told that you can't because we're protecting uh the officials these are government officials that are coming from when they're not visitors uh especially dr jill biden she's been here three times already into you graduation uh, she did the commencement she was in tuba city uh, a couple years ago and now as first lady coming uh, being a government official we voted for these individuals and now they're here and so we will welcome them on behalf of the Navajo people but let me just also say that we are going to be live streaming these. You probably have a better view <laughs> if you watch all the live stream. Uh, the First Lady, Dr. Jill Biden, will be meeting with our First Lady, Navajo Nation, uh, uh, for Philia Nez, and also uh, Second Lady, uh, Dottie Eliza, and some women. I know there's a lot of requests uh, saying that we want to be you know, we want to be able to get a variety of topics and we can't just open it all up to everyone because of these very strict protocols. So I just ask for your um, your patience and your also your, your con uh, consideration uh, on these measures. You know, I mean, we want to make sure that uh, everyone is safe and so she'll be visiting here on Navajo, a school uh, at the Tseotso Medical Center um, uh, on Friday, there's a vaccination drive. So if you haven't get vaccinated and you know that's available to you at the Tseotso Medical Center on um, Friday and she'll witness that. She wants to know how you all did Navajo people on keeping these numbers low. And as you heard me many times, I always say that uh, the Navajo people have really stepped up and it's because of you. It's because of each and every one of you following through these protocols. Many of you made commitments on social media, on the comments, say I commit to continue to follow these protocols. And it's because of the Navajo people. Of course, you'll get naysayers out there. Uh, some people uh, say, well, I'm not going to follow through because I already caught the virus. They're thinking of themselves, you know, they're not thinking of others. Uh, and so, yeah, you can still catch the virus. So you need to keep that in line. So keep keep out. Uh, we'll have a press release with the social media live stream of all these events that are happening. So we can uh, bring it into your home so you can see the visits. Uh, Vice President and I will be meeting with the council as well, with the uh, our cabinet members, uh, with uh, the first lady as well, to represent uh, the Navajo people. CDC guidelines are to be followed, the White House guidelines as well.